So um, the, the concept behind MirrorLink is it's designed to be able to replicate uh, the screen on your phone um, and obviously all of the applications, all of the media and all of the content that you have on your phone onto the screen in your car because the phone is is really the center of your life so you know you carry around all that information and all of that content so now it gives you the ability to have access to that uh, using the mirror link technology in your car so this software that you see on the screen here is actually built by HTC and it's called the the HTC car panel this is part of our HTC sense software experience and it's it's our way of presenting an, an in-car uh, setup to be able to, to enable the driver and the, and the user to interact uh, with the device. So you'll notice from here all of the icons um, and all of the other features are, are all much, much larger. They're much easier to interact with. So for example, if I go into the phone dialer, um, all of the buttons are much, much larger. So when I'm typing and um, I'm tapping a number in, it's quicker, easier and simpler to, uh, to, to do that. There's also integration with your media, so for example when it comes uh, to, uh, to your music, you can come in and start playing your music here and it will then play through uh, into, uh, into the car system. But we also have full gesture support, so for example on the phone, if I wanted to change a track, I would just swipe and it would then allow me to change the track. Because I can do that on the phone, that's now enabled in the car, so I would only need to swipe in the car to be able to interact with that. So there, there is full support um, for all of the gestures and all of the touches that you would be able to do on your phone into the display here. So for example, when it comes to, uh, to navigation, see uh, utilizing Google Maps, which is pre-installed on the device, uh, I can use the zoom functionality that I would use on my phone, double taps, um, swipes and other gestures are all fully supported uh, on the system in here. And that just, it makes that experience much simpler because you know, the user is, is familiar with, that, um, with those methods and, and they can just take that straight into, uh, into the car. We also have access, uh, I mentioned uh, other media as well, so uh, we have access, for example, uh, to your gallery. So uh, in uh, if you're viewing photographs that you've taken with the device, you're able to view those at any point, and again, you can swipe through to move um, through your photos. Uh, the one feature that is um, disabled in the gallery uh, when you're driving is the video functionality, obviously for, for safety reasons. But if you're, if you're car is stationary, if it's parked, then you will have the ability um, to be able to interact with a video and, and to put a video on the display, which again, the audio will then play through the car system from here. But the key point of there is, is the fact that the, the video system uh, is disabled while uh, whilst you're driving. Now some of the, uh, the, manu the car manufacturers have actually created their own applications uh, which are designed to run alongside uh, the MirrorLink experience. So for example, uh, VW have created a point of interest application on here, which when you click into, there are several filters down the side here. So we have, uh, for example, a, a kid mode, we have opening hours, and it will then just display all of the features from there. So if I click into uh, an application, uh, it will then give me a list. So for example, you know, if I'm looking for a bar or for a restaurant, it will give me a list of all of the options, uh, how far away they are, where it's pulling the data from, so from Google or from, uh, from Yelp. When I tap into here, this is still a prototype application at the moment. This will be uh, launching in around about May. Uh, once the final version is ready, it will pull in uh, feedback from, in terms of opening hours, uh, Google reviews and ratings, um, information in terms of contacting uh, the venue, and then you've got the option to navigate straight to, uh, to that location. So if it's a restaurant and I want to book a table, I can press one button to, uh, to call them, book my table, end my phone call, and then tap on one button, and then I can navigate straight to their destination from there. Some other examples that, um, that VW have in, uh, in terms of their applications. So they have a, what we call a Think Blue application, um, and this is designed to make you a, a more economical driver. So it will actually analyze um, the way that you drive in terms of your uh, fuel consumption, your acceleration, your braking, your, um, your gear change, and then it will give you a rating uh, for that. And then it's able to turn that into a nice sort of fun, uh, fun game. So actually, you can get achievements and, and medals and, and other features, you know, that, that, that come through on here. So it just it makes it a little bit more interesting. But there, there is, you know, a really solid point behind it in terms of making you a more more economical driver. And that's Mirrorlink.